Hey everyone, welcome back to A Better Computer. Today I'm going to do a lightning fast round of 11 reasons why I think Vivaldi is the best browser you're not using. So these are going to be quick, so I'm not going to go into much detail. So download the browser, it's free of course, and check it out if any of these sound interesting to you so you can dive into them a little deeper. Number one, it runs Chromium. So your web pages are gonna render correctly. If web developers are only developing for Chrome, which is annoying, they shouldn't, but if they do, it's still gonna work. Your websites are gonna look great. Now, in addition to that, number two is that it supports Chrome extensions. So any extension you use in Chrome can work in Vivaldi. Everything I've ever downloaded works great, works perfectly fine. I'm showing you how I use 1Password right now, 1Password X, which is fantastic, love it. Number three is the fact that there is tracker and ad blocking built into Vivaldi. Now it's off by default, but you can click this shield and then turn off tracking, or you can go ahead and turn off ads at the same time. It's built right into the browser. You can download Chrome extensions if you want, but you don't have to because it's right here right away. Next up is a combo, four and five. There are customizable keyboard commands, and not just like the normal ones that are there in every browser, but you can customize everything. There's a huge list of things you can customize here, and then going hand in hand with those are mouse gestures. So if you want to do mouse gestures to do certain things like close tabs, open new tabs, all that sort of stuff, you can do that in Vivaldi, and it's totally customizable by you. One thing kind of unique to Vivaldi is that there's easy theming of the browser. So you can set custom colors, you can set custom corner radiuses, you can make it use accent colors based on the websites you're using. There's a lot of customization here that you can use to make your browser look exactly what, like you want. And it works in dark mode too, so you can have a theme for dark mode, a theme for light mode. And that really extends across all of Vivaldi. There's total customization everywhere. You can control how tabs work, how the side panel works, how tabbing works, how search engines behave. Everything that you can customize in every other browser is here, plus a lot more. Now let's talk about this side panel here. They call it the panel, and it's where your bookmarks, downloads, and history live. But there's also notes built into the app. You can put notes there while you're working, and you can put web panels, which are just loading your favorite sites in the side panel. So I have Twitter and Gmail here. So if I ever want to check my inbox, I can just click on the Gmail icon and see what's going on there. Same with Twitter. And they load the mobile versions of the website, so they look basically like I'm using them on my phone. Number nine is pop out video. So on basically any video that's playing in the browser, you can click on this little icon and it'll pop it out just like it would in Safari, but it's really nice, really easy to use and something that isn't as easy to do in Chrome. Number 10 is the fact that screenshots are built into the app. Again, you can download an extension. If you already use one in Chrome that you like, you can bring that over to Vivaldi. It'll work just great, but you can do it built in. You can save it to your computer or you can save it to your clipboard, whatever you want, areas, the full page, whatever. And finally, 11. 11 is a doozy. Tabs in Vivaldi are so customizable. You can do pin tabs. You can have tabs periodically reload. So if you don't, don't want a page to time out, you can have it automatically reload every minute, two minutes, whatever, throughout the day. You can hibernate background tabs. So if you have like 50 tabs open and you don't really want to have them all taking up RAM, uh, the browser's not handling that super well, you can just right click on a tab and say hibernate background ones and all the other ones will shut down. They'll still be there. You can still access them. If you go to them, they'll reload, but they won't take up memory. You can move your tabs to the top, bottom, left, or right of the page. You can choose where new tabs open. You can choose where the buttons on the tabs go, right or left. <laughs> you can control everything. So it's really customizable. I think it's really good for work computers where you want to really optimize your workflow to do specific things. You want things to behave a certain way. And so, yeah, I just think it's a great browser that doesn't get as much attention as some of the more popular ones like Chrome, Safari, Edge, Firefox. I think it's a really a sleeper. I think that if you haven't tried it, you should really try it out. It's available on Mac, Windows, and Linux, and it's also on Android. So check it out uh, today, totally free. Links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.